What's going on? Someone else was attacked tonight, Zach, and it wasn't me. See what I can do with the fog. When'd you get here? Well, I couldn't miss your first day of school. Your hair's different. I like it. It's been 15 years, Damon. Thank God. I couldn't take another day of the 90s. That horrible grunge look <laughs> did not suit you. Remember, Stefan, it's important to stay away from fads. Why are you here? I miss my little brother. You hate small towns. It's boring. There's nothing for you to do. I've managed to keep myself busy. You know, you left that girl alive tonight. Mm -hmm. It's very clumsy of you. Ah, that could be a problem for you. Why are you here now? I could ask you the same question. However, I'm fairly certain your answer could be summed up all into one little word. Elena. space for thousands of years all alone yeah bonnie says it's a harbinger of evil i think it's just a ball of snow and ice trapped on a path that i can't escape and once every 145 years it gets to come home i'm sorry about yesterday I wasn't myself. You seem to spend a lot of time apologizing. I have a lot to apologize for. Yesterday, I wasn't about you, okay? You didn't tell me that you had a brother. We're not close. It's, uh, it's complicated. Always. You told me about your ex, Catherine. What did he say? She broke your heart. That was a long time ago. When you lose someone, it stays with you. Always reminding you of how easy it is to get hurt. It's okay, Stefan. I get it. You have no idea how much I get it. Complicated brother? Check. Complicated ex? Check. Too complicated to even contemplate dating? Double check. It's okay. We met and we talked and it was epic, but when the sun came up and reality set in, I'm 
I'm sorry, Elena. I know what it's like to lose both your parents. In fact, Stefan and I have watched almost every single person we've ever cared about die. We don't need to get into that right now, Damon. Uh, you know what? You're right, Steph. I'm sorry. I, the last thing I wanted to do was bring her up. <laughs> One more. Oh, thank you. <laughs> nice save. I like you. You know how to laugh. And you make Stefan smile, which is something I haven't seen in a very long time. Earlier, did you mean Catherine? Mm-hmm. How did she die? In fire. Tragic fire. Recently? Seems like it was yesterday. What was she like? She's beautiful. A lot like you in that department. She's also very complicated and selfish. At times not very kind, but very sexy and seductive. So, which one of you dated her first? <laughs> Nicely deduced. Ask Stefan. I'm sure his answer differs from mine. I quit cheerleading about you. Why do you say that? Oh, I saw you at practice. You look miserable. You saw that? Am I wrong? I used to love it. It was fun. But things are different this year. Everything that used to matter doesn't anymore. So don't let it. Quit. Move on. Problem solved. Ta-da. <laughs> Some things could matter again. Maybe. But it seems a little unrealistic to me. I'm sorry. About Catherine. You lost her, too. Hey, need some help? Sure, why not? The Founding Families of Mystic Falls welcomes you to the inaugural Founders Council celebration. Wow, look, it's the original guest registry. Look at all these familiar names. Sheriff William Forbes, Mayor Benjamin Lockwood. Is that Damon Salvatore? And Stefan Salvatore? The original Salvatore brothers. Our ancestors. Tragic story, actually. We don't need to bore them with stories of the past. It's not boring, Stefan. I'd love to hear more about your family. Well, I'm bored. I want to dance. Damon won't dance with me. Mm -mm. Can I just borrow your date? Oh, um... I don't really dance. Oh, sure he does. You should see him. Waltz, the jitterbug, the moonwalk. He does it all. You wouldn't mind, would you, Elena? It's up to Stefan. Well, sorry, but I'm not gonna take no for an answer. <laughs> I want to apologize to you for being such a world-class jerk. The other night when I tried to kiss you, there's no excuse. My therapist says I'm acting out, trying to punish Stefan. For what? It's all in the past. I don't even want to bring it up. Let's just say that the men in the Salvatore family have been cursed with sibling rivalry. And it all started with the original Salvatore brothers. Damon told you to ask me to dance, didn't he? Well, why would he do that? Would you like one? Thank you. Okay, yeah, just tell me if you see my mom. Mm. <laughs> the Salvatore name is practically royalty in this town. Until the war. There was a, a battle here. The Battle of Willow Creek. Right. I know, we talked about it in class. Confederate soldiers fired on a church with civilians inside. What the history books left out was that the people that were killed, they weren't there by accident. They were believed to be Union sympathizers, so 
Some of the founders on the Confederacy side back then, one of them rounded up and burned alive. Mm. Stefan and Damon had someone they loved very much in that church. And when they went to rescue them, they were shot, murdered in cold blood. Who was in the church that they wanted to save? A woman, I guess. Doesn't it always come down to the love of a woman? Look, I'm sorry that you and Stefan have this thing between you, but I can't get in the middle of it, Damon. I just... I hope you two can work it out. I hope so, too. Sweeper duty. What? We have to clean the pavement. It's a car wash. By definition, the pavement's clean. But not dry. And I'm doing this why? Caroline bailed, so that leaves me in charge. Fabulous. all our archives last year. I am so over Tyler. So over him. I knew from the beginning that it was only a piece of ass to him, but I thought maybe if you got to know me better, you might see something more. But no. Now Jeremy, on the other hand, that's all he's ever seen in me is and I like that. Jeremy, huh? Elena's brother? Yeah. Yeah. So a lady used to date my brother, and they were always together. So Jeremy would always be hanging around and crushing on me. And hey, but I have a girlfriend. You're like totally cool and so hot. I know. Don't you want to be in love? I've been in love. It's painful, pointless, and overrated. Except when it isn't. No more talking. Let's stand. <laughs> Bells are spoken to be broken. Feelings are intense. Words are meaningless and forgettable. Excuse me.
Why? It's part of the plan. Uh, 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 uh. You okay? Thank you. Get it in the car quickly. Seem a little too far. Really? Yeah. I know, it looks so cool. Man, that was awesome. What? What is it? Vicky? Vicky! Vicky, what the hell? Get inside. Go! What are we doing here? Bonding. Catch. <clears throat> Call him. Give it a try. <sighs> Don't forget who taught you how to play this game. Downside of my diet. Getting hit actually hurts a little bit. Oh. Whew. I'm impressed, Stefan. Fun with booze and darts, sentimental with football, and now <laughs> starry night. What do you want, Stefan? It wasn't real, Damon. Our love for Catherine. Oh, she compelled us. We didn't have a choice. It took me years to sort that out to truly understand what she did to us. Oh, no, Stephen. We are not taking that on tonight. What do you want with Catherine's crystal? How do you know about that? Come on. You knew Elena would tell me? How'd you know it was Catherine's? Emily gave it to her on her last night. I was with her, and you weren't. I was the last one to see her, Damon. Now, what do you want with Catherine's crystal? She didn't tell you? We had other things on our mind. Not think twice about it. Yeah. 
and I've heard that before. I have a bigger surprise, Stefan. I'm gonna bring her back. Descended from Catherine, does that make me part vampire? Vampires can't procreate. But we'd love to try. No, if, if you were related, it would mean that Catherine had a child before she was turned. Did Stefan think that he could use me to replace her? It's kind of creepy if you ask me. Come on, well, you don't like pickles? What's wrong with you? How can you even eat if technically you're supposed to be dead? It's not such a bad word. As long as I keep a healthy diet of blood in my system, my body functions pretty normally. <laughs> this nice act, is any of it real? Mm -hmm. Here you go. Thank you. I'll have one too. Mm -hmm. Time out, remember, for five minutes? Yeah, well, that five minutes is gonna need a beer. There you go. Show me how it's done in the 50s. Uh, no. Come on, one move. Remember that because it's never gonna happen again. <laughs> you are not capable of trust. The fact that you're here means that you read the journal and you were planning on doing this yourself. Of course I was gonna do it by myself because the only one I can count on is me. You made sure of that many years ago, Stefan. But you...
You owe me fool. So what are you gonna do now? Because if you try and destroy that, I'll rip her heart out. You won't kill her. I can do one better. Give me the book, Stephanie. Or I'm snapping her neck, and you and I will have a vampire girlfriend. Let her go first. The book. I'm not gonna give this to you until she is standing next to me. The problem is, is I no longer trust that you'll give it back. You just did the one thing that ensures that I will. I just got to Bonnie's. Everything all right? Yeah. How's Damon? Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can I call you later? Yeah, of course. on you well i'm tough to fit on cards do you have any hobbies You'd like to travel oh yeah la new york a couple years ago i was in north carolina near the duke campus actually i think i think alaric went to school there didn't you Rick? yeah because i'm i know your wife did i had a drink with her once she was she's a great girl did i ever tell you that because she was Delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. Are you okay? I just need some air. Don't look at me like that. Are you crazy? Save the lecture. Look. Oh! 
I remember them. From 1864. They were in the tomb. Yeah. About that. Chris, you need more blood. Don't no, Lena, run. Run. No. Damon told me the rest of the story. I thought I might find you here. I should have died that night. Just like I had chosen. I should have let Damon die too. But you didn't. And if you die now, it's not gonna change what happened. Every single person that's been hurt, every single life that's been lost is because of me. The night that my parents died, 
I blew off family night so that I can go to some party. I ended up getting stranded and they had to come pick me up. That's why we ended up in the car at Wickery Bridge and that's why they died. Our actions are what set things in motion. But we have to live with that. I made a choice, Elena. And because of that choice, a lot of people were hurt. You also made a choice to stop, to reject the person that the blood made you. You made a choice to be good, no, Stefan. please, please don't do that. That's the person who jumped in the water to save the family whose car had driven off please the bridge. Please don't make this all okay. That's the person who saved my life. You don't understand, Elena. Then tell me. It hurts me. It hurts me knowing what I've done. And that pain, that pain is with me all the time. And every day I think that if I just... If I just give myself over to the blood, I can make that pain stop. It would be that easy, and every day I fight that. And I am so terrified that one day I'm not gonna wanna fight that anymore, Elena. And the next time I hurt somebody, it could be you. There will be no next time. You don't know that. Maybe I don't. But what I do know, is that you could take this, throw it in the quarry, and let the sun rise. Or you could take this ring and put it on and keep fighting. It's your choice. What should we do now? <laughs> oh, yeah. Memory serves. Now that I have your attention, listen up. You do not come into my town threatening people I care about. Going after Elena? You leave her alone or I will rip you to bits because I do believe in killing the messenger. You know why? Because it sends a message. <laughs> Catherine wants something for me? You tell the little bitch to come get it herself. It's my fault. I'm telling you this because I hope... Maybe you'd understand. Thank you. Can I help? Sure. Hello, John. Goodbye, John. I looked everywhere. Yeah, someone definitely took my stuff. I just gotta check on Jeremy before I go to the hospital. Can you meet me there? Okay. I love you, Stefan. Jeremy, are you up? 